All right, in this film, I'm gonna show you how to light something on fire in Photoshop. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, I have a bunch of extra stuff added in here, like reflection and some smoke and all that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna basically just show you how to go about doing that. So um, I was inspired by uh, Wildwing, which is the duck's mascot after he lit on fire uh, during a uh, match where they were just trying to show off something, whatever, and they had him jump through a hoop of fire. You can watch it on YouTube, it's pretty entertaining. Um, anyways, I'm a Giant Kings fan, so who better than Wild Wing to light on fire, right? So, uh, go Kings, go. So, here we go. I'm going to select all these layers, I'm going to get rid of them, drag them down in the trash can, and then first step, I'm going to uh, go ahead and select what I want to light on fire. So, I'll select here. Um, this flag and then I'll work my way over here get wild wings selected okay that's looking pretty good there we go and remember we can always go back the opposite way so in case I select too much I can hold the alt key and alt key paint and then I can put everything back okay so if I do that that's looking pretty good his sleeves a little messed up there Okay, so now I've got him selected. What I'm gonna do is Command and J. Command and J is gonna copy that section out, place it on a new layer, so I've got everything else erased. Um, it is important to have everything else erased. This will not work if you try and mask something. So um, you can use their, use their eraser tool and clean some stuff up or whatever, but no mask, um, otherwise it's gonna mess it up. So we're gonna take this layer. I'm gonna copy it one more time because I'm gonna need this information over the top of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off by clicking on the little eyeball icon right here. And then after I've done that, let's go ahead and label this so I know what's going on. So I've got my fire layer. Okay, and this is going to be an overlay layer. Okay, and we'll see kind of what's going on with that one in a little bit. So what I need to do with my fire layer is I'm going to right click on it, then I'm gonna to go to blending options. And then once I've done that, I am going to add in uh, a couple things. One, a color overlay. I'm gonna make it so that that is white. So I'm gonna click and drag over, make that white. All right, and you'll see on the picture here, now he's white. Okay, then we're gonna go to an inner glow. In inner glow, we have to switch the blend mode from screen to normal. Screen is gonna not show the colors that we want. And then inner, I'm gonna go with an orange. Once I've gone to orange, I can click over, select that color, click okay. And then uh, I'm gonna try and get it so it's kind of glowing on the inside a little bit. So I'm gonna increase the size a little bit like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, and then I'm gonna go to an outer glow. Same thing, change my blend mode from screen to normal, otherwise you will not see the effect. Uh, and then I'm gonna click on my color. I'm gonna drag down and grab a red. And then I'm gonna increase the size just a little bit, okay? Uh, so that way I kind of have some glowing going on. All right, so I click OK. Now I've got my fire layer. We're gonna turn on this overlay layer, which we had, which is then gonna hide uh, a lot of that stuff. And we can start adding in some of our, uh, adding in some of our fire. So I need to have the fire layer selected. Then I'm gonna go over and select the smudge tool. The smudge tool is located with the blur tool, uh, the sharpen tool, and then you'll see the smudge tool down here. It looks like a little finger. Go ahead and click on that. And then up top, you're gonna go to these uh, tool options. We're gonna select our strength, okay? Your strength's probably gonna be default around the 50 areas. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and move that over to the mid 70s, okay? Um, now strength is gonna be uh, something you have to play with until you can really like figure out how it works best for you. But once I've got that, then I can click from where, uh, where my fire layer is, okay, or what I'm trying to light on fire, and then I'm gonna drag out and then kind of create like a, like a little swivel, okay? So, um, and I can change my brush size using those bracket keys, all right? Um, and then uh, the good news is if I mess up, like I don't really like some of that stuff that I'm doing right there, I'm just gonna push it back, okay, using the smudge tool, and then I can go here, and then just kind of create those like whips that you'll see like in, in a fire, right, in the flames. So um, so I just kind of keep creating like almost like a, I, I wanna say it's like an S pattern, okay? And then as I do that, the flames will start to grow. So anywhere I have to click on what I'm trying to light on fire and then paint out from it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do some of this stuff and then we'll fast forward after I've finished up a bunch of it. Okay, now that I've got this squared away, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my overlay layer and I'm gonna change the layer blend mode. 
Um, and I'm going to go ahead and copy this because uh, I'm going to use this a couple times here. So let's try doing a color burn on it. I'll turn off that top layer, see how that goes. So that kind of looks like you see some like glowing through going on. Um, and then I'm going to turn on this top layer and then we're going to try switching this to hard light. Okay, you can try some other options and see what looks best, but this way it kind of looks like the flame's going over the top of things. You can kind of see through down to the bottom layer. So um, I, I kind of like the way that looks a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and leave that there. Now I want to add in a reflection. You can see kind of a reflection down here, but there's no fire with it. Obviously if he's glowing, that'd be you know, pretty substantial in the reflection. So I'm going to select all the layers by clicking on the top one, holding shift, clicking on the bottom layer. Then I'm going to click and drag these layers down to this little folder icon down here and it's going to group them. Okay. Now that I've got a group, okay, this is going to be um, just our regular picture here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and copy this. So I'll drag down the copy sign and then this is going to be our reflection. Okay. And to create a good reflection, all I've got to do is grab the move tool and then I'm going to click and drag this the opposite way. Okay. Um, I'll zoom out a little bit so that way I can kind of stretch them out. All right. And then um, I'm going to hold the command key, grab a corner, and then I'll try and line up the feet cl closer together a little bit like that. So that way it looks like the reflection is going right off of his foot there. And then I'm going to take this entire layer opacity uh, for this group and I'm going to bring that down until I kind of see a reflection in the eyes, but it's just enough. Okay, so that way it gives it a little bit of a hint like it's reality, okay? Um, and then after that, we're gonna add in some smoke. Adding in some smoke is really easy. We're gonna add a brand new layer with nothing on it. Once we do that, I'm gonna go grab my brush tool and I'm gonna choose a foreground color. That'll just be like a nice kind of like gray, okay? Nothing too crazy. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll turn my layer opacity down a little bit and then I'm gonna select uh, just kind of a soft edge brush and then I'm just gonna quickly paint around where I think that there would be some smoke and obviously some thicker smoke over here. I'll click a couple times and then I'll click a little bit down here, right? And a little on him and I'm just kind of creating just like some basic stuff here, okay? Uh, so after I do that, then uh, I'm going to go back to that smudge tool um, and then I'll bring the strength down a little bit and then increase my brush size and then I'll kind of play with it and move it around a little bit so it doesn't look like it's this solid thing that I just painted on there. Uh, by smearing it around it kind of gives off the appearance like it's a little more realistic, right? And then uh, you know, go kind of here, move it around some more. And let's try moving off some stuff like that. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna take this opacity and I'm gonna bring that down, all right? Until I kind of get a little bit in there, but nothing too crazy, okay? Um, and then voila, I've lit something on fire in Photoshop. Hope you guys find that fun um, and uh, tune in for another lesson.